All right, so now we have our QSIS system built. We generated it. Hopefully that all works, and we'll find out by running it on hardware. So find where we stored our Cordis project, which was an Altera My Systems um, system one, and we're going to click on Neos2 QPF. This is Cordis project file. So we're going to open this up. All right, once it opens, we're going to double click on our Neos2. This is a block diagram. This is our top level entity. Uh, first things that we're going to want to do is go to project, add, remove files and project. And we're going to want the block diagram is here. That's good. And then we're going to want to add another file. We're going to add a QIP file. So come over here, design files. And we're going to find the one that has .QIP, IP variation files. And that should be under uh, system one, use two system synthesis, use two QIP. You want to open that up. And now make sure you click add, it doesn't automatically add, click add, apply, and okay. So now, now we actually have our project here. Another thing we're gonna wanna do before adding anything else is we're gonna wanna go to assignments, device, and then device pin and options. And then we're gonna go to unused pins and as type stated. This makes it so if you have an unused component on, the, on your board or something like that, um, and the FPGA actually has a connect, physical connection to it. Instead of sending phantom power to it, but, um, like if you do phantom power to like a little LED or something, it'll light up a little bit. Um, and we don't really want that. We just want it to be off because we're not using it. So this right here just grounds it if it's not being used. Um, so click OK. OK. So we're going to want to add the system that we made. So we're going to want to double click on this name. Click that. Neos2 system, uh, BSF, open. We get a nice little preview of it. All right, it's cool. Click OK, add it here. Now, we're gonna take a little step back. Always remember to save everything. Save, 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 sorry. Save every moment you can. Um, it's gonna be your friend because Quartus sometimes likes to freeze and crash, so we'll, uh, just like anything else, you wanna save. But we're going to want to make something that's, we're going to want to do this the easy way um, and not the hard way. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you actually how to add all your pin assignments um, in one fail swoop. So we're going to want to go to, minimize this real fast, and we're going to want to go to uh, where our system is at. And our system is at under Altera, my system, system one. And we're going to want to find a QSF file right here. And you want to open it in some sort of text editor. So we want to open with Notepad. All right. So this is going to give you some stuff already generated. We're just going to a few, few enters after that. We're going to want to copy paste the file. Um, this file will be available on my website, um, fpga.shawnwrl.com. And I'll also link to where it is on Altera's website at that, in the documentation. So this has all of our pin assignments already done. This is super simple, easiest way to do it. Now all we have to do is name our pins the correct thing, and we're good. Good to go. So we're going to save that. Close it. Minimize that. Come back here. So now we want to add a pin. So clock. It's an input. Blue is always input, purple is always output, and green is bidirectional. We have no bidirectional ports on here, so we're not going to see any green, but we do have green LEDs, which is an output. So we're going to have an output, and we're going to have inputs. So we'll come over here to our input little thing right here, input. We want to put our pin right there, and we're going to want to put an input pin right there. And now we're also going to do an output, but that's, that's a weird looking output. Like it's, I have to go all the way around like that. We can right click on it and flip it to make it line up with these other ones. You can also click and use the keyboard, nudge them a bit if you want. Um, pro tip, also always drag from your system to the pin because it gets the correct level. Like if I drag from here to here, it's only go as a, as a one input because it's a small line. But if I drag from the big the LEDs to there, it's a big line. It's a conduit, so it knows 
what it needs if you go from right to left versus left to right. So in clock, add that there. So the name of these pins is very important. We have to name them those same names that we had in that file that we just that QSF file that we just put away. Um, and there's also an Excel document that lists all the file names as well, which will also be on um, fpga.shawnwrl.com. And they are case sensitive. So for this one, it'd be clock underscore 50. 50 megahertz clock. So green LEDs. We want LED G, all capitals. And now since it's conduit, how do we have multiple inputs? Well, we do a bracket, the highest most number, so seven dot dot zero, lowest most number, end bracket. And that's two dots in there, just to clarify. And for this one, we want to put map this to our key zero. So we want key bracket zero end bracket. That's our system. This is a very simple, nice, easy to go system. Let's save it, always save. And that's what we have. And it's now ready to be generated. So what do we need to do to generate? We're gonna to need to come up here and click start compilation. And it's gonna go through and it's gonna take probably some time depending on your system. It could take five minutes to half hour depending on how complex your system can be. Um, but you can see your total overall progress in the lower right hand corner right here. All right, as you can see our, since this is completely finished and you come down here and you'll see, oops, I can find the message, all the way over. Um, you can see all your messages of everything that went on. So if you have a little problem, you can go through here and trace it down. Cortis 2 full compilation was successful, zero errors, uh, 552 warnings. The warnings are because we have all those pins that remember that we added, those aren't connected to anything, that's a warning. Um, so those warnings you can just disregard. So that ends this lesson, so we've now successfully made our system in QSIS, compiled it, and assigned pins in Quartus. And now we're gonna go to um, Neos2 development tools uh, in Eclipse to actually write a C program for it and go through and see exactly how you start writing software for it. Um, up till now is everything has been hardware development, so we've been developing hardware in an FPGA. Um, that was already from pre-built components, the IP core from Altera. Um, later in these videos, you can actually see how to write your own IP core and how to create very complex systems. So uh, don't forget, all the uh, written documentation, uh, these files and code for everything will be available at fpga.shawnwrl.com. Uh, links down in the description. If you have any questions, uh, comments, or anything like that, feel free to leave it in the description in the comments section down below.